My eye catcher came with the Duke of Edinburgh Stakes. Uh, it was won by a handicap good thing, I think, in um, Quickthorn. But the horse that finished fourth, Miran, trained by Johnny Murta, I thought he was probably the second best horse in the race. Turning into the straight, he had a lot to do. He didn't really get the run of the, of the race coming in there. He didn't begin his run till way too late, but he finished really strongly. He's a five-year-old, he's quite likely raced, and I reckon he could be a type going forward for a race like the Ebor at York. My eye catcher from Royal Ascot is a filly called Ashada. I thought she was really unlucky in that Ribblesdale. She was drawn 11, the winner, Loving Dream, was actually drawn outside her, but she got a really good jump and went to the front and dictated matters. Whereas Ashada was a little bit of a hostage to fortune, really, and had to kind of weave her way through came very wide in the straight and was doing all her best work at the finish. She's very likely raced, but I do think she's got a very bright future. She's definitely one to keep on the right side of, and that's a shadow who ran in the ribble set. My eye catcher from Royal Ascot 2021 will be Boom Shalar, who ran in the Palace of Holly Rood Stakes, was beaten a narrow margin by significantly. Um, you only have to look at the in-running comment to know what went wrong, but effectively got slightly hampered, two furlongs out, denied a clear run, finished off like an express train and should have won. He is a big horse to follow. Boom Shalar.